I wish someone would have done this when I started making barn doors, so steal it and if it helps you, but it's helped me tremendously. So we obviously do enough barn doors. I had to come up with a jig for cutting the holes. A couple different ways we do it is we use our Domino XL. Thank you, Festool. But I made this jig because most of the barn door hardware, the center of this first hole is an inch and nine sixteenths. So I measured an inch and nine sixteenths. And then from that mark, it was three and nine sixteenths. So instead of just making the right size hole, we did the domino because, especially on double doors, grab two pieces to show. The issue I was having on double doors is if my holes, say these are my hardware hole, if they're off, it's gonna hang, like if that one's lower, it'll hang lower. So I was, there's no way to adjust if you drill the hole, but with my dominoes, I can raise it up and fix that gap or this gap. And these are gonna overlap and there's so much vertical design that if it's like this at all, you'll see it, or this. So it really needs to be nice and square, and these dominoes will allow us to adjust. You can see how much, okay, that's where my mark is. And I made a little bit of room both ways, but initially I thought, let's have the factory measurement land at the bottom of the hole and then that's where I'll tighten everything but I actually moved it up that way I've got some up and down adjustment and what's nice is before I would grab my trusty tape measure and have to go doo -doo, grab my square like man that I mark those straight up and down shoot I don't have to measure and remeasure. I even made marks on my square trying to do that. You see, there's my barn door mark. But this took out all the guesswork. I had to move this one in, but normally I've got outside edge, outside edge. So I would just line that up, take Mr. Square. Make sure it's up and down, lined up on top, lined up on the edge. Boom, it's right where I need to be. And then initially I was like, oh man, I gotta make two of these. But you just flip it over, mark outside edge. So I had to come over an inch and a half for this hardware, but that was easy. I just marked my center line, what I needed center of my hardware to be. I just had scrap plywood and honestly, I think I just had a five inch piece is why I went with that, which gave me plenty of room with my center at two and a half. And I wanted the domino machine to balance well. So that balances by itself. I could go wider, probably could go narrower. Seems like the sweet spot to me. Two and a half inches is where I like the center of my hardware. For this door, I had to be one and nine sixteenths to three and 15 sixteenths. So that was my range. I took the farthest, so I needed to add an inch and a half. So I just made a mark three and 15 sixteenths. And then I made my center mark here on the jig. So I just line it up, boom, right where I want it. Just a handy little jig to get the hardware installed.